Are you all ready for bed, I see? Snuggle up under those blankets and carefully listen to me. With your pillow underneath your head and slowly closing your eyes, let's all get comfortable and get ready for a story surprise. Whether we venture through the forest and make new friends or fly off through the distant lands, you can always depend. After you listen for a while and you start to nod off, you can count on us to give you a great snoozing send-off. Welcome to another story for you. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Snoozy the Bedtime Bearer. And today we have a story for you called Lucy the Lion. Lucy, a hungry, lonely lion, just wants a friend. She has a big heart and a curious mind, but all anyone sees are her big scary teeth, her sharp claws, and her loud growl. One day, Lucy meets a magical being who shares the secret of making her less scary. Join Lucy as she goes on a magical journey do 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 with the hopes of letting everyone see who she really is inside. Lucy the Lion A pool of emerald lay at the bottom of a large waterfall. Its green hues coming from the reflection of the tall canopy of the trees above. Into the pool streamed a waterfall, its waters rushing white, droplets sparkling like diamonds. A soft breeze brushed by, carrying the scent of roasting meat and vegetables. From a cottage near the base of the waterfall, a big paw, soft with tawny fur, switches, twitches, and stretches out. The paw belongs to Lucy the lion, who sat up and stirred from the tasty smell. Lucy had been sad from the night before, because she had no one to play with. She was also sad that she had forgotten to eat and the barbecuing food smelled so good that it made her belly grumble. Lucy stretched out her long furry body and yawned out the last of her sleepiness. She walked out of the shade of the leafy green canopy and squinted in the bright sunlight. Slowly, she made her way towards the cottage. As she neared the log cabin, she hid in the shadows of the trees. She had learned that the humans found her frightening, and she didn't want to scare them away. She lay in the shadows and watched as the tall man tended to food on the porch. From behind him, a woman with long brown hair 
walked out of the house wearing a bright floral dress. She was holding a small child. Lucy smiled. She had been watching over this family since they had come home with this child. It had been the same day that Lucy had lost her own parents. She had only been a baby lion then, and she hadn't been able to find any other baby lions to play with. Lucy dreamed of playing with the child. Thanks for tuning in. That was a short preview of another story for you. Boys and girls, click the like button. And when you come and visit us, you can download your favorite story or just print out your favorite picture to color yourself. Bye for now.